I've been working on a project recently in which I need to use some small computer fans with variable speed control and I've been using this this kind of fan the four wire fan and I really had to poke around on this thing and figure out for myself what's going on and how to operate you know how how you know what what each wire is for because there's really not a lot of information out there so I'm making this video and I'm going to put some information out there okay so there's three basic kinds of fan depending on their their wiring configuration got the four wire of course and then there's the three wire and the two wire um, but the nice thing about the four wire is that you can pulse width modulate it like I have up here on the function generator and it also has a tachometer output so I can actually monitor the speed or the computer motherboard can monitor the speed of the fan and make sure it's working properly but when I first started this project I was using one of these little tiny fans mounted on a heat sink and got a power resistor here as a heat source and a thermistor to measure to monitor the temperature of the heat sink and you know I got all this nicely built up and then I tried to drive the motor drive the motor drive the fan with a with pulse width modulation and that did not go very well at all it'll it'll just about go if I pulse width modulate at a hundred Hertz or so and I also give the fan um, a start starting push to get it spinning um, of course there is another option is just to pulse width modulate at much much lower frequency like one Hertz or or less you know one to turn it off and on every few seconds um, in order to give it that kind of a modulation then there's the other type of fan with three wires on it the black is of course ground and the red is 12 volt power but the yellow is the tachometer output and I'll get more into that later on and as I discuss the the four wire configuration which has this extra blue wire coming out and that is the input for uh, controlling the speed of the fan there's also this other much larger fan I have here um, you can see it has a white wire on there instead of a yellow and some other fans might have different color schemes but it's not too hard to, to poke around and see which wire is what to get it to work okay so here's a picture of everything you need to know about how to operate these one of these things um, I'm not sure if this is exactly what it looks like on the inside of the fan um, but the, from a black from, from a black box perspective this is this is what I can see just by poking around on the outside so there of course is 12 volt and ground going to the motor driver and then the the blue wire the the input has an internal resistor pull up to to 12 volt so so if you leave this open if you don't connect the blue wire then the input to the motor driver is going to be pulled up high and uh, the fan speed will will be on maximum but if you tie the blue wire to ground through a switch or a transistor or something then then uh, the then the voltage on the motor driver input goes low and it'll then the fan will go to a minimum speed it'll never go off all the way it just goes in between a min and a maximum speed and of course you can hook this up to function generator or some other signal source a square wave and you can pulse width modulate it to get anywhere get any speed in between the minimum and the maximum and on the output end here we have a an open collector transistor um, going down to ground the open collector is on the, the yellow wire if you hook up a one kilo ohm resistor pulled up high you know anywhere from one volt to even greater than 12 volts you know the the voltage range here is very wide and you can still get a, a readable square wave pulse output and that comes out as two pulses per revolution of the fan blades okay time for a little demonstration I've got the function generator hooked up to the blue wire going into the fan with a 20% duty cycle square wave so the fan is at almost minimum speed right now 
and you can see I've got the, the square wave pulse on the scope there coming out of the yellow wire. So if I disconnect the function generator and I leave the blue wire floating, you can see the fan really speeds up there. And if I tie the blue wire to ground, it goes to minimum speed. So I got it put back on the function generator now and the lowest duty cycle here is 20% and I'm getting 67 hertz on the scope and if I punch in 50% duty cycle you can see it speeds up a little bit we get 110 hertz or so and let's do the maximum for this thing 80% get about 150 Hertz on the scope so that's divide that by two and we get 75 revolutions per second for the fan well there you go that's the basics of operating one of these muffin fans with uh, the four wire configuration so I hope it was helpful thanks for watching